Cybersecurity is easy. You just don't get hacked. That's it. Done. Thanks for watching. No, but seriously, if you've ever tried learning cybersecurity, you probably started with a YouTube video titled Top 10 Cybersecurity Skills You Need in 2025 that made you feel like you had to master networking, learn every Linux command ever created, reverse engineer a nuclear reactor, and build your own seam from scratch. And that was just to pass the first interview. But here's the twist. Most of cybersecurity isn't hard. It's just overcomplicated on purpose. You've got people on Reddit talking in acronyms like they're summoning demons. Make sure your SOC is aligned with your SIEM and follow Zero Trust while integrating your CCEDR pipeline with AI-driven anomaly detection. And you're sitting there googling what is a SAIS and wondering if it's a security framework or a new K-pop group. The truth is, people love to gatekeep. It makes them feel smart. But in reality, cybersecurity is mostly about one thing, figuring out how things break. And that part is kind of fun. And let's talk about real hacks for a second. Not the Hollywood kind where a guy slams a keyboard and yells, I'm in. I'm talking about actual cybersecurity incidents. Most of them don't happen because some elite hacker from the dark web found a zero day in your kernel. They happen because Dave in HR used the password password123 across 18 different logins and clicked on an email that said, click here to receive your $100 Amazon gift card. That's it. That's the hack. And boom. Ransomware. You look at companies getting breached and you think it must have been some state-sponsored cyber ninja. But nah, it was an open S3 bucket named Public Backup Final Final Zip and a missing firewall rule. Uber literally got breached because someone left admin credentials in a PowerShell script. Rockstar Games got pawned by a teenager. Most breaches don't start with a buffer overflow, they start with someone forgetting to log out of Slack. The problem is, we've built this mythos around cybersecurity. Like you need to understand every single layer of the OSI model just to get started. Or you need to know how to code in C, Rust, Python, and Morse code. But if you look at actual professionals, what do they do? They Google. A lot. They read documentation, try something, it breaks, they panic, fix it, it breaks again, then they copy a Stack Overflow answer that somehow works. That's it. That's the job. You don't need to know everything. You don't even need to know most things. You need to be curious. You need to not be afraid to break stuff. And you need to be able to laugh when things go horribly, horribly wrong. Because they will, and that's how you learn. Want to actually get better at cybersecurity? Stop trying to master every tool. Pick one thing and break it. Spin up a try hack me box, do a hack the box beginner machine, set up a lab and MITM your own traffic. Play with Wireshark. Look at what normal traffic looks like. Then throw malware in there and see what changes. Don't spend six hours memorizing nmap flags. Just scan something, then Google what it means. It's like learning to fight by watching UFC videos versus actually getting in the ring and getting punched. Reading blog posts is cool, but nothing teaches you like breaking into a box and yelling, yes when you finally find that one hidden base 64 string that leads to an SSH key. That feeling? That's when cybersecurity clicks. Or you can keep Googling how to hack for the next three years. Or you can just join CyberFlows Academy and start turning hacks into payouts. We cover what actually gets you paid. You don't need to be perfect. You just need the right system. Some members have made back their investment in weeks. Others have turned hacking into a full-time job. Click below, get inside, and start making hacking pay. So yeah, maybe cybersecurity isn't easy in the sense that it takes zero effort. But it's not some mythical art that only geniuses can do. It's a puzzle, a bunch of little puzzles stacked on top of each other. And you get better at solving them one broken terminal at a time. You're going to fail. You're going to feel dumb. You're going to spend three hours chasing a bug only to realize you were editing the wrong config file the whole time. But you're also going to pop your first shell or bypass your first login screen or catch your first phishing attempt in the wild and feel like a god. And in that moment, you'll realize Cybersecurity is kind of easy, actually.